Yo, what is up guys? So today we're gonna be covering the prophecy weapons the reintroduced ones i'm really excited because some of these i actually own back in vanilla vanilla d2 and i'm not gonna lie to you guys a lot of these are really good i think there, there's only like one that i don't give a shit about other than that they're all really good so if you guys like this content let me know in the comments below like comment subscribe really does help the channel grow and i will be making a prophecy dungeon guide essentially so for all the classes because i really do believe a lot of these weapons are going to be weapons that you're going to love so first and foremost we're going to be talking about last breath it is a kinetic auto rifle in the adaptive frame family and i love this weapon i i had this weapon back in vanilla d2 and it was like my bread and butter uh auto rifle it's the one that i used all the time and seeing it back i was like oh my god i need to get a good roll on this Looking at the perks, I actually think the perks are pretty cool for PvP. For PvE, I wish they used other damage perks, but it's it's still doable. So first and foremost, for the first row, it's going to be Demolitionist, Subsistence, Killing Wind, Ensemble, Dynamic Sway Reduction, and Slide Shot. For the second row, it's going to be Osmosis, Frenzy, One For All, Adagio, Adrenaline Junkie, and Range Finder. So immediately a, a lot of people are going to be going for like oh demolitionist and osmosis that's going to be pretty cool because you can actually get your burn uh you're like let's say you're using solar osmosis once you throw a grenade you're going to be able to actually have this weapon have solar damage essentially or whatever your subclass is uh i wonder if it works with stasis that would be interesting but Demolitionist, Demolitionist is also super cool because not only will you be reloading when you throw your grenade, which is proccing Osmosis already, but then with kills, you're also proccing Demolitionist, giving you more energy. So I think these two are going to meld really well. Although if you want to go something crazy, you can do Demolitionist and Frenzy, Demolitionist and One For All, or Demolitionist and Adrenaline Junkie, which probably would be the play because obviously Demolitionist is going to be giving you more grenades and Adrenaline Junkie, you're just going to be feeding off of that. So for me, I would probably use this with like a tight end bottom tree with uh, Ash and Wake. That would be such a nasty fucking build. Ugh. So uh, it would be more just like casual stuff, though, because uh, actually, I don't know. That's that's something I'm definitely interested in. Obviously, a lot of people would probably go for like subsistence and frenzy one for all. Uh, probably not adrenaline junkie, but. I probably wouldn't go for subsistence in this role just because demolitionist is so good uh for pvp i ended up getting killing wind and rangefinder i love it it's so good i'm a big fan of this weapon uh you could probably do like dy dynamics ray reduction and rangefinder if you're in controller but essentially like there's so many good things about this weapon that you can be doing like demolitionist and pretty much everything in this row i would stay away from uh, adagio me personally just because uh I, I don't even know how much how many like how the the rpm would go down like i don't know how, like what it would turn into because I, I don't have it yet but even then like i don't i don't think adagio is even that good to begin with um but yeah let me know in the, in the comments below what you guys think personally uh for pvp killing wind and range finder for pve demolitionist and literally everything aside from Ad adagio although if you want to be really honest demolitionist and osmosis is going to be really good or demolitionist and uh, adrenaline junkie that's probably the two that i'm like actually thinking about getting so next weapon is going to be judgment it is a kinetic hand cannon in the adaptive frame family so 140 and this one unfortunately i've been getting a lot of rolls that has Ad adagio and I hate it because it just turns into a shitty 120. So let's go through the roles real quick. First role is gonna be Demolitionist, Ensemble, Encore, Tunnel Vision, Moving Target, and Slide Shot for the first row. For the second row, it's gonna be Adagio, Timed Payload, Osmosis, Adrenaline Junkie, Multi Kill Clip, and Opening Shot. So again, we see Demolitionist with Osmosis or Adrenaline Junkie. That's pretty interesting. I probably would not pair it with this weapon, although depending on how much adrenaline junk it actually gives you, it might be worth it. Um, obviously, for PvP, you probably want time payload, just because time payload on a 140 is pretty fucking wild. I think there's only two weapons that drop with time payload that are 140s. 
One of them is Judgment, and then another one is one of the world drops for this season, which I actually do have, and it's pretty fun. Other than that, um, Tunnel Vision is probably one of my favorite ones. Tunnel Vision and Multi Kill Clip is probably going to be the one that I'm looking for for PvE, uh, maybe PvP as well. I've seen a few people want to get slide shot and opening opening shot. I can see why. I just think a uh, movie time payload is going to be a little bit better for me in PvP. And I love this gun. This gun is super dope. I don't think I had it in in vanilla Destiny 2. I don't remember, but all I know is a. Uh, the perks are, are pretty solid in my opinion again you can go with the demolitionist and osmosis or adrenaline junkie if you want uh if you're if you have a really good grenade build or you can just do tunnel vision and multi kill click hill clip for for pve pvp you could probably do like moving target opening shot slight shot opening shot um you could try out uh what's it called time payload i think that's really fun in pvp but overall i i'm i don't know i all I want is probably just tunnel vision and opening shot. I do not have a 140 that I actually enjoy using. So I'm hoping to get like a God roll for judgment. Next one is going to be darkest before. This is an energy pulse rifle in the rapid frame family. It also deals arc damage. And this is probably my favorite weapon, like hands down, legitimately hands down, probably one of my favorite weapons just because of the role that I got. The role that I got is pretty dirty. Uh, I've even, I've even, people have even told me like, that's a dirty roll. Cause it pretty much is a dirty roll. So let's go through the perks real quick. Overflow, subsistence, tunnel vision, surplus, slide shot, and quick draw for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be one for all rampage, fully auto trigger system, elemental capacitor, unrelenting and full and wellspring. So the role that I ended up getting is tunnel vision with multi or full auto trigger system that's the two that i got and let me tell you guys full auto trigger system i love it on pretty much anything this one makes it super dirty like i am killing people that i have no business killing and in speed like the only other pulse rifle that can like out kill me is grid skipper even though it is uh the same thing as for a 540 rpm uh i don't know what it is grid skipper just fucks me up darkest before though is so good it it's probably my favorite pulse rifle right now just because it can roll with uh the full auto trigger system if it couldn't do that i'd probably hate it just because uh especially on really like fast firing uh pulse rifles just the like the idea of clicking it over and over just pisses me off a little even though that that shouldn't so full auto trigger system really makes this weapon a lot better in my opinion Although I would probably want like overflow and rampage on just PVE in general. I think those two meld really well. Uh, subsistence and rampage also really good. I, I hate one for all personally, so that's not for me. Um, most people probably heard surplus and wellspring. Those two are really good to combine together considering you can use your abilities and wellspring will give you abil ability energy and surplus will benefit you with handling reload and stability for each charged ability. That's really dope. Uh, I would stay away from probably quick draw uh, unless you like really benefit like the it's don't get me wrong the handling on this is really low it's on 34 so quick draw would be dope but I like I always have my this weapon out so I don't need to like quick squ quick swap to it not only that like it's not a close weapon so like I don't even know why you would want that uh, slice shots also pretty interesting and that's pretty much it honestly like i would stay away from elemental capacitor i would stay away from unrelenting those two are the only bad perks in in this role if i'm being quite honest so yeah honestly like this weapon is probably one of my favorite weapons right now if not my favorite be just because the sheer amount of shit i've been doing in pvp is ridiculous not only that the fact that it can drop with overflow and rampage is really super cool so i'm gonna want that for pve specifically for like gms and whatnot although if, if i'm doing gms i would probably want for like full auto trigger system and overflow just so that way i can have more ammo and like just gms in general like I, it's so hard to kill shit rampage will probably go like i would i would lose like one stack after one kill because i'm trying to kill something else so i don't know overall uh overflow and rampage would probably be the one that i'm going to be going for specifically so yeah darkest before hands down one of my favorite weapons you guys should definitely get it 
The next weapon is going to be a sudden death. It is an energy shotgun in the aggressive frame family and also deals arc damage. And this one is pretty interesting because I think I got the God roll for this or for PVE specifically. Uh, for PVP, I still still haven't gotten it, even though I already know what I want. So let's go through the perks real quick. Grave robber, threat detector, field prep, slide shot pulse monitor and surplus for the first row for the second row it's going to be one two punch wellspring frenzy one uh snapshot sites elemental capacitor and surrounded so immediately i the one that i got is assault mag with grave robber and one two punch i got that and i was like immediately like oh my god this is a good roll because i do a lot of punching uh builds for my hunter specifically with uh liar's handshake so when I saw that, I got immediately happy because obviously Grave Robber and One Two Punch are just so good together. Assault Mag, you're getting that uh, that, sh that rate of fire up, so that means you can fire more. That's pretty cool. And overall, that's like the PVE role that you want. I like I don't even know what else you would want unless you want like specifically like Frenzy. Although I don't know why you would want it. I, me personally, I wouldn't use it. Let's just say that like Frenzy or Surrounded, I wouldn't be using. And. Uh, yeah, that's it actually. That's the only role I would go for for PvE. For PvP, you're looking at slide shot and snapshot sites immediately. Uh, I don't care what you tell me, that's gonna be the role that I would wanna go for, specifically salt mag with slide shot and snapshot sites with, uh, what's it called? Full choke, I think it is, that, the one that tightens up your, your shots. That's gonna be the role that everyone wants and specifically I want as well, just because it is an aggressive, and you're getting slide shot, which is immediately boosting your range and stability. Also reloads a portion of your magazine. And snapshot sights just means you aim faster. Specifically, slide shot's gonna be countering the the nerf that uh slide got slide got. So uh slide shot just gonna be shooting like for me, I've been using slide shot with the shotgun. I've been enjoying it, and that's really it, honestly. Uh I've seen people say surplus. I don't I don't personally fuck with surplus on this type of weapon just because like I don't need reload speed or stability. Handling is debatable. Like get that handling. That's that's pretty cool. But other than that, yeah, no, that's it. Like grave robber and one two punch or slide shot and snapshot sites, PvP, PvE or PvP. And obviously you want a salt mag on all of them and full choke on all of them as well. So this is a great weapon. I'm I'm in love with the shotgun. I used to have the shotgun as well and when we had it, it was in the heavy slot, so I'm, ha I'm happy to have this shotgun back because I still have footage of me playing Trials of the Nine and completely destroying people with the shotgun. So I'm happy this is back. Next, we get to a Swift Verdict. It is a sidearm in the energy slot, and it is a precision frame as well. Not only that, it does void damage. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. I, I love sidearms, and I know I've said in a few videos that I actually hate them. I love sidearms that don't shoot one shot. Let's just say that. I like sidearms that have either fully auto or shoot in a burst or are fully automatic like the Suros one. I don't like single shots just because I feel like in my head they don't do enough damage even though I've I've done well with them. It just, the perks need to be really good for me to actually give a shit. So let's look at the perks real quick. Fully auto trigger system, surplus, slide shot, killing wind, tunnel vision, and threat detector for the first row. For the second row, it's gonna be wellspring, zen moment, disruption break, kill clip, surrounded, and range finder. So I would probably fuck with full auto trigger system and kill clip. Although I would love to get something like maybe uh, tunnel vision and kill clip. Those two are gonna pair really well together considering they proc on reload but i would probably like fully auto trigger system even more although at the same time <sighs> great greatly increases target acquisition and aim down sights for a short period of time that sounds really cool especially on a sidearm but killing wind also is another thing where i'm like damn like it increases mobility and weapon range and handling on a kill so i don't know this one's pretty rough like for pvp Fully trigger, fully auto trigger system is definitely going to be something that a lot of people are going to want to get. Uh, kill clip, obviously, may or not maybe, obviously people are going to want to get kill clip. It's going to be increasing that damage. Uh, I think that's it actually for PVE. I don't know. I, I don't even know what I. 
probably disruption break uh i don't know like dude pve i don't use a lot of sidearms in pve so for me i'm just kind of like i'm lost dog i don't know what i would use on this but if i had to make like an educated educated guess i would most likely go for like threat detector and kill clip just because kill clip is just gonna be so much just because uh kill clip is just gonna be so much more beneficial because you're obviously getting kills but i don't know i probably would would go with killing wind just because like i like killing wind it's like one of my my one of my favorite perks so yeah let me know what your thoughts in the comments below are about a swift verdict i'm not the biggest fan of it i have one and i'm just like i only have you here because i need footage other than that i would fucking erase you so yeah so the next weapon i'm going to be talking about is the long walk this is a solar damage sniper rifle in the aggressive frame and i'm not gonna lie to you i i would be lying if i didn't say i was disappointed in this weapon pve wise pvp it's fine uh i'm not like completely like yo it's it's honestly fine um let me okay so we'll we'll get to why i'm a little disappointed even though i was super excited for this weapon so first for the first row it's going to be clown cartridge overflow slide shot outlaw killing wind and ensemble for the first row for the second row it's going to be firing line frenzy quick draw adrenaline junkie snapshot sights and moving target so some of you are going to notice oh it's firing lines in it yeah but it got a nerf so unfortunately it's not going to be as good as it used to be um a lot of people are probably going to pair this with like clown cartridge and firing line or overflow with firing line i personally think overflow is pro probably the better one but it's just for me especially for a solo player you're definitely going to benefit a lot more if you have like triple tap and you're probably going to benefit a lot more if you have like triple tap or fourth fourth time to the charm with vorpal weapon i think that combination in a sniper rifle is probably like the best thing you can get just because as a solo player you're going to be able to do a little bit more damage not only that if you're hitting your shots you're getting more so for me triple tap would probably be the, the better one out of all of them but overall I'm a, I'm a little disappointed pve wise because count clown cartridge is not bad but it over it overfills from reserves uh, overflow would probably be the best one because you're getting free ammo if i remember correctly because you're not getting it from from your reserves not only that you can bump this up to like five shots so you'll be you'll have 10 to 11 shots in your magazine so that's really cool but again firing line's not that great in the long run and I don't know i think overflow would probably be the better one but at the same time if it had triple tap i feel like i'd be able to shoot a lot more without reloading but it's i don't know it's unfortunate but for pvp you, you guys have a lot of cool stuff you guys have slide shot and quick draw you guys have killing win and quick draw you guys have killing win and snapshot sites you guys have outlined literally everything i just said like there's so many things for pvp that you really you guys really can't complain like you guys can do slide shot, outlaw, killing wind, overflow, count clown cartridge if you're feeling weird. Like, it, there's so many things you can do here. So for PvP, it's super fire. PVE, uh, it's not so much. Although I might be, I might be hearing people tell me like, oh, but th th these are these are PvP weapons. It doesn't really matter. I really like it when PvP weapons are really good in PVE, and when PVE weapons are really good in PvP. Like it just not saying like oh i want it to be like that but i just wish weapons weren't only good at that one portion that they were like released at so that's pretty much it i'm a big fan of all of these weapons aside from a swift verdict i think sidearms to me are just like specifically one shot sidearms are like not the best and even if it does have fully auto trigger system you're sacrificing a a perk to make it usable darkest before that's a different story you can already use it without it it's more of a just like uh for me personally i just like it just because i don't want to click that much and it also makes it a little faster so i don't know that's probably just a bias at that point but at the end of the day i do like my my sidearms for sure and i'll probably make a video on like my my most favorite sidearms but a swift verdict is definitely not one of them definitely not so let me know your thoughts and comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below i thank you all for coming up to this point and i will see you guys later